Hey guys, it's me Jess. I am coming to you today without Chris because he is at work. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do this video and talk about 10 words that I have come across or that I have dealt with that are totally different than what I am accustomed to saying in the US and what y'all, how y'all say it here in the UK. So I'm without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, I feel whenever I say them, my American showing. So yeah, so hopefully y'all can get a giggle and you know laugh along with me and share anything that you have known an American to say that has made you giggle. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna do food related items first. Um, number one, my daughter absolutely loves uh, cotton candy and we have learned it is called candy floss here in the UK which is really funny because it's not like flossing your teeth you know but I understand it's like little strings you know I get it the next one is coriander here in the UK you call it coriander in the United States we call it cilantro which is so weird when we first went to the store we were looking for cilantro and we could not find cilantro to save our lives. And we kept seeing something that looked like cilantro, and but it said it was coriander. And I was like, okay, Google to the rescue. And we, I went ahead and I Googled it and lo and behold, coriander is cilantro. So, you know, I was just like, what is this? But a pretty cool thing. Um, the next one is Packets in the United States, like the little ketchup, salt and pepper packets, we call it a packet. In the UK, you call it a sachet, I think is how it's pronounced, which is so much fancier. I prefer to say that, as long as I'm saying it right. For uh, our driving test over here, it is uh, in the United States, we call it a blinker. Here, you call it an indicator. And so that was something that, you know, I had to think, oh, like, okay, this is, it is an indicator. I'm indicating which direction I'm wanting to go. You know, that makes complete sense. Um, you know, so I was like, okay, I, I can, I can get behind this. Uh, the other thing is uh, my landlord, I was talking about our trash can and he said, your what? I said, my trash can, I've got to bring it to the road. And he said, your dustbin. And I'm like, oh, yep. <laughs> Sorry. My American showing. Um, so, you know, that is one of the many things that, you know, I just, I, I, I have, you know, 20, I uh, know 30 some odd years, um, I've been calling it, you know, these things for so long that whenever I hear it here in the UK, it's, you know, it takes me a minute to, you know, to go like, okay, what are they talking about? Oh, I know exactly what they're talking about. The next thing um, is also to do with cars. It's a GPS in the United States. We call it a GPS. Um, and over here it's called sat nav. You know, it makes sense. Um, but I had no idea when someone was saying sat nav to me, I was like, uh, satellite, what? But it's satellite navigation, completely get it. And the next one is I had someone ask me what I was having for tea. So in the United States, we call it dinner. <laughs> Here, um, they, you know, I was asked, I guess it's referred to as tea. And so I was completely baffled. And I was like, I'm not having tea. I'm going inside to have dinner. And so they, they caught a giggle, uh, which, was, which was good, um, again. American. The next one is going to be eraser. In the United States, we call the, like, the, uh, it's like a pink little rubber. We call it a, an eraser. Here, you just call it a rubber. In the United States, we call a rubber something completely different. So, when I, when I asked for an eraser, I did not you know, I got looked at a little funky, um, uh, but they said, oh, a rubber? And I'm like, oh, I don't need one of those um, because my mind went somewhere else while their mind was talking about an eraser. So there is that. Transfer trucks. 
in the United States um, is what you know we call the big trucks. Here in the UK, uh, you call them a lorry. So that was really different, um, getting used to people referring to it as a lorry. Um, the next one is going to be crosswalks. Um, a zebra crossing, or zebra as I would say, zebra crossing, but zebra crossing um, is what y'all call crosswalks here in the UK. I had no idea until I was taking my driver's test. So, or well, when I was studying for my driver's test. Um, but yeah, it's just, these are the, the weird, crazy things that, you know, show that I am an American, like a fish out of water. Um, yes, we, we do speak the same language, but not all words translate. And so everybody, please be patient <laughs> with me in the comments if um, I'm not saying something completely <laughs> right. Um, just know that we are giving it our best and but whenever you've said something for over 30 years in a certain way, trying to have your brain, you know, understand it a different way or say it a different way, it's, it's not the easiest transition all the time, but we're working on it. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the words that I still struggle with, um, but I am learning and I hope that you got a giggle and you know, just leave me a comment. Hopefully, if y'all enjoy just me sometimes, I may jump on a little bit more um, throughout the week and you know, I not have to wait for a weekend for Chris to be home and I can put out a little bit more com uh, content. So bye friends, I hope y'all have a lovely day and be safe.